In this quick start video, I will show you how to draw objects in RouteCAD. We will start by drawing line. To draw a line, you press Ctrl Alt L. The window for drawing lines appears. There are three ways of drawing lines. You can enter the first point and second point of the line. You can enter the first point, the angle and the length of the line, of the line or you can use the mouse. We will start by entering the first point and last point of the line. We've entered 10, 20 for the first point and 30, 20 for the second point. So this will be an horizontal line starting at 10 centimeter in X and 20 in Y and going to 30 centimeter in X and 20 in Y. Also, when you enter a number, you can just press the tab key to move to the next window. We click on continue and here we have it. We press the middle mouse button on this line to get the properties and we can see it starts at 1020 and goes to 3020. The slope is zero degree. Remember zero degree is an, is an horizontal line that goes from left to right. Counterclockwise is negative, clockwise is positive. We do control out L again to draw a second line. This time we'll be drawing a line using the first point, the angle, and the length. We enter 1020 for the first point, which is the first point of the previous line we drew, minus 45 degrees, so it's a counterclockwise angle, minus 45 degrees, and the length 10 centimeter. We click on continue and we will click the middle mouse button on this line to get its properties. We can see it start at 1020 and it has a slope of minus 45 degrees. Now we will do control alt L again to draw a third line. This time we'll be using the mouse. So we check use mouse and we click on continue. Now we would like to close this triangle, so we press F3 to enable the snap. We click for the first point of the line, we click again for the second point of the line, and we click the right mouse button to cancel the action of drawing lines. Here we have it, a triangle with three lines that was drawn in three different ways. To draw circle, we press Ctrl Alt C. For drawing circles, there are three ways as well. We can enter the first point, second point, and third point of the arc we want to draw. We can enter the center point, the radius, and the angle. Or we can use the mouse. At the moment, we will draw a arc using three points with the mouse. We click on continue. Now we would like to draw an arc that goes from this edge of the triangle, goes over here, and finishes over there. So with the mouse is already enabled, and we can see that endpoint is checked. So we click for the first point of the arc, we click again for the second point of the arc, and we click for the third point of the arc. So we have a perfect arc that goes from the first point, second point, and third point of the triangle we drew. Now we will draw a circle in to another way. So we press again Control Alt C. We want this time to use to draw a circle using the center point and plus the radius. We click on continue. Now we would like to have a circle with a center point that is right in the middle of that line 
and the edge of the circle we want it to, uh, to be in the middle of that line as well. So let's do it. So we have the tip that tells us click to locate the center point of the circle. So we click midpoint is already checked. So we click on this line. Now the center of the circle we want to draw is automatically snapped to the middle of that line. Now we enlarge it. We drag the mouse to enlarge that circle and we go close to the middle of this other line and we click. Now the circle is drawn in a way such that the center of the circle is in the middle of the line, that line, and the other point of the circle to the fully define the circle is also in the middle of that line. Now to draw a parabola, we press Control Alt A. There are two ways to draw a parabola. We could enter the first point, second point, and third point, or we could use the mouse. So we, for this time, we will use the mouse. So we check Use Mouse, and we click on Continue. Now, we would like to draw a parabola with a point starting over here, and the middle of the parabola, we want it to be somewhere down there, and the the third point of the parabola we want it to be over here. So let's do it. Now the, mount, the, the snap is on and we will click on this line which give us the end point over here for the first point of the parabola. Now the second point of the parabola, we want the second point of the parabola to be somewhere down there but we already know that this line started at 10, we can see it started at 10 in X and and 30 in the, the second point is 30 so the midpoint and we know is 20 if we want to get exactly 20 the easiest way to do it would be to to display the grid we'll set the grid spacing at one centimeter and we will be snapping to the grid and we will simply go to a point that is 20 so this is 20 we click on it. So now this is the first point of the parabola. This is the second point. And now we want the third point. We will disable grid and we go automatically back to snapping end point. We will hide the grid and we click on that point. And here you have it. The parabola is perfectly symmetrical. It goes from 1020 to somewhere over there, but at 30, at 20. And then it finishes at the last point. Now we've drawn parabola using three points, but we can also draw parabola into another way, which is two points plus tangent. Two points plus tangent means that you need to give the first point of the parabola, the second point of the parabola, and the tangent to the first point of the parabola. So let's do it. Let's scroll down to see the drawing better and let's try to make a parabola that is tangent to the first parabola we drew but going the other way and that's going to be interesting so we first of all we need to, to draw to draw the first point of the parabola and we'll be using the snap so Let's make the first point of the parabola correspond to the end of that line. So we just click on that line for the first point. Now the first point is over here. Now we want, we want to define the second point of the parabola. So we go over there, but we'll disable the snap and we'll just click somewhere down there for the second point of the parabola. Now we want something to be tangent to the first point of the parabola. So we'll press F3 to enable the snap. And since we have endpoint selected, we place the cursor over the first parabola so that it will select, it will select the endpoint closest to that object we are on, and it will take its slope to define the slope of the new parabola we are about to draw. So we click on it, and here you have it. The second parallel we drew is actually tangent to the first 
parabola. So it's a continuous, continuously, uh, it's a con continuous curve. Now I will demonstrate something. It's a very subtle difference. If we would have chosen to be tangent to the circle, you will see the parabola would look slightly different. Let's do it. So we click for the first point of the parabola. We click this end, this line. So the end point is the same as before. The second point of the parabola, we want it to be the same as the first parabola we drew. So we click over here. And this time, we always have end point selected. And we need to give the slope of the first point. We will give the slope of this arc. Let's click on it and see what happens. You can see the new parabola is actually tangent to the to that circle and it looks it looks a little bit different because the constraint is different because be, because of the tangent is now different from the circle to uh, to the parabola the the circle the tangent is a is a little bit more steep than the uh, the, the tangent of the first parabola the new problem you drew, you constrain it to be tangent to that circle. So this is why it looks a little bit steeper and goes down a little bit more. Now we saw how to draw a line, how to draw arc, and how to draw parabolas in two ways. We could also draw a horizontal parabola. To do so, we do Control Alt L. Uh, sorry, Control Alt P, Control Alt A. And we check horizontal parabola. We click on continue, and you can see how the horizontal parabola should look like. And we will disable the snap. We press F3, and also we can also draw horizontal parabola using two points plus tangent, or if we click on that using three points, we we'll, we we'll draw a horizontal parabola using three points. So we click for the first point, we click for the second point, and we click for the third point. Now, we have a parabola with three points that is horizontal. Now, if we would like to draw a horizontal parabola using three points and a tangent, we check, we click on that, and we click for the first point of the parabola, which is going to be over here. We press F3 to enable the stop. Now, we click for the second point of the parabola. We'll disable the snap and just put it over there. And we want it to be tangent to that parabola for the first point. So we press F3 again. We click on that parabola. And here you have it. Uh, with the second parabola, is actually tangent to the first parabola. Now, the last thing we need to draw is a point. To draw a point, we do Control Alt P. And we can see there's two ways to draw a point. We can either enter the coordinate of the point we want to draw, or we can use the mouse. We will use the mouse, so we check Use Mouse. We click on Continue. Now we will disable this. We will enable the snap, and we will draw some point at the end point of this parabola. Now we can also draw a point at the vertex of a parabola. So we click on that. We have a point at the vertex of this parabola and another point of the vertex of this problem. 